All right, everyone, JB here for another unboxing and a review of this mystery box. So this box actually uh, appeared out of my doorstep today. I have no idea where it came from or who sent this. I have never ridden a lichen board before, so I don't know much about it. So let's try it out. Uh, let's open this up. But before we open this, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. All right, this time I actually got an actual box cutter and let's see what's in here. Moment of truth, let's see what it is. First thing when we open the box, first thing we see is Lycone grip tape. It looks like it's extra padded. It's a little thicker than most uh, grip tapes out there if you look at it closely. It's extra padding. It looks like softer material. Extra support. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what? Yo. Dude. I don't believe this. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Whoever sent this to me, thank you. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. This is... Wow. Um, I'm very speechless. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy... Alright, let's check. Okay. Okay, let's see what else, like, I don't even know what to say right now. Alright, let's check out what's inside, oh. Alright, let's check what the, alright, let's check what else is in the box. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Got the belt motors. Wow. Alright, guys. So it looks like I just looked it up on their website. This one is actually the Lycan TRX. Uh, dual belt motors with the uh, 120mm cloud wheels. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Yo, again, whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. You have no idea how, how excited I am for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, before we go uh, and forget the rest, uh, let's see what's in here. Alright, it looks like you got your standard brick charger right here for the board. You got a T-tool. Alright, it looks like they also sent uh, two replacement belts for your motors. They also sent a C-type charger for your remote. Oh, and look at that. That is the remote control. It has that OLED screen right there. Wow, this remote feels nice. All right, and you also got one of this mini tools. Oh man, look how beautiful this thing is. Look at that. Wow, look at those dual belt motors. Oh wow. It looks like it's set to the right tension. That looks good. Oh man, this thing is so solid. Wow. All right guys, so this is the comparison between the 95 mm shark wheels and the 120 cloud wheels. Look how massive those wheels are. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this on the road. Took out the board for a spin today. Uh, this board had no problem climbing. It had so much torque and power. It might be hard to tell from this video, but this hill is actually a little bit steep. But the TRX had no problem and zoomed uphill. Going downhill, same thing. Um, I didn't lose control. 
if you actually look at the road this road is crappy it is full of gravel dirt rocks you name it it's there it's so bumpy but i didn't feel a thing um, the massive wheels the 120 m cloud wheels made it so smooth um, on my other boards i would literally feel every vibration every every crack on the road every crevice but this one it was so smooth i felt like i was snowboarding i guess that's why they call it the cloud wheels because literally you feel like you're riding on a cloud i gotta tell you guys so far i'm really liking this board no pun intended this board is actually equipped with a customized hobby wing 12s esc it accelerates very smoothly and it's not very jerky at all it's so easy to ride and you know it's pretty fun this actually is ip54 meaning it protects from daily dust and water splashes um, but do keep in mind do not soak this in water to test that out i would not recommend soaking this out to test how waterproof it is the one big thing that i love about this board is the double kingpin trucks the kingpin trucks actually make this board really carvy meaning you can do sharp turns um, do keep in mind you gotta adjust your bushings to uh, suit your riding style if sometimes you know if it's too loose be careful you might get speed wobbles the one thing i am greatly disappointed about in this board is that you cannot adjust the tension of the belt um, depending on how much tension you need sometimes you gotta readjust it depending on how loose or tight your belt is so other than that i really have nothing bad to say about this board i actually had my friend lawrence try it out and you know he loves this board and let's see what he says from himself all right so we just rode on the lycan trx uh this is lawrence's first time on it so it was amazing i had really uh a good time uh, riding it it was very smooth on the roads and even on the gravel and uh the dirt i uh, would highly recommend it it's um good for beginners too there we go folks that's it <laughs> all right we love it hey guys i just started a patreon account all proceeds will help me uh, get better equipment um video editing software cameras um, to make videos better for all of you guys and uh, click on the link in my bio other than that thank you jb out